Hi, welcome to Soul Centered. I'm Baruch Halevi, also known as Rabbi B. Soul Centered is a center here in Denver, Colorado, and a virtual platform as well, where we guide people through loss and meaning and healing. And so I'm here today with my wife and business partner, Ariella Halevi. Um, I am co-founder of Soul Centered and also director of healing. And I lead people through grief, loss, and healing to help them connect to their body and soul wisdom so they can heal on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level. Absolutely. And of course, as you can see, I'm also joined on the other side by um, Susan Johnson and Jamie Sarche from Feldman Mortuary. And we'll be telling you a little bit more about how we're entering into a partnership with Feldman. Very excited. And it really hinges upon um, our work around loss and grief. I wrote a book called Spark Seekers Morning with Meaning, Living with Light. And I guide people, as does Ariella, through loss and grief. And mine is more of a kind of a traditional um, mind psychotherapeutic modality. But taking the grief journey and now putting it into a, a retreat, we call it the grief experience. It's just a mini retreat. It's a one day long intensive for people at any stage after a loss, right? There's really no wrong time um, or even right time to confront your grief and sit with it and move through it in a constructive healing way. And so that's what Ariel and I do by facilitating the grief experience. Um, we draw upon ancient Jewish practices and philosophy because I believe deeply that Judaism does grief very well, um, but these aren't particular to Jews. It can be for anybody. And I think it's a mistake not to share the gift of um, Jewish rituals around grief with anybody and everybody because they are beneficial. And so we've incorporated those into an experience, again, a one day a long retreat where it's body and mind and spirit and weaving it all together. And so we're very proud and excited to be offering it now in partnership with Feldman Mortuary. Thank you. Um, I'm Jamie Sarche. I'm the director of pre-planning at Feldman Mortuary. And what I do is really help people to create a path for their loved ones to walk on when they need them most. B talked about how people don't access ritual at the time of a death and they, they really miss out. When we have a life cycle event, it is so important that we have ritual around it and death is absolutely that. And so having some ritual, some path to walk on when we need it most and can least create it for ourselves is such a gift. And I help people to give that gift to the people they love. And I'm Susan Johnson. I'm the director of um, community outreach at Feldman Mortuary. Um, really, my, my title is what I do. I go out into the community and I help people to talk about death. And um, a lot of what I do is talking about how we can take care of ourselves for those of us that are in the profession. So um, I'm excited to be a part of this, really, really excited, because I think we do need some guidance when it comes to grief um, and loss. And um, I'm just excited to be a part of this. So thank you for having me here. Well, we're both excited to, to be partnering with Feldman, an amazing uh, institution and really kind of a, a pillar here in the Denver community. So thank you for your work and thank you to Jim. So the grief experience grows out of um, the Jewish tradition, as I mentioned. I've probably done, I think, 500 funerals as a rabbi um, for many years as a congregational rabbi. And I would say, and then there's Shiva, the seven days of mourning after the death of a loved one. I would say of the 500 funerals, maybe 10 families sat Shiva, the seven days. Um, you know, usually a day or two, maybe three, but it wasn't certainly the traditional experience and even though day or two or three wasn't the essence of what it could be I don't care about the do's or the don'ts we're just very committed to helping guide people through darkness as I say from desperation to inspiration from darkness to light and so turning to these rituals and Ariel and I've spent a lot of time crafting the grief experience taking these rituals and, and as I kind of explain them, universalizing them. So it's not about Jewish, it's just about a, a great practice for anybody. Um, modernizing them, putting them in a modern context and spiritualizing them, taking the spiritual aspects from them so that we can experience and feel them. And then last but not least, personalizing them because this is, although it's a, un, it's a, it's a universal experience, as you all know, going through grief, it's a 
highly personal experience. And so we've really brought all of that into a holistic um, experience. And Ariella, maybe you just tell us a little bit about what makes this holistic from your perspective. I think it's so important that we use our entire being and body in our grief process. Um, most of us feel things from the neck up. We live from the neck up, and when we go through grief, it impacts us in such a body way, and all of our senses are included in loss. And so our work together is to really incorporate the entire being within this grief process. Absolutely. So really kind of a body, mind, spirit approach to it. I would love to hear um, from Jamie and Susan a little bit about what you see, you know, the, you're involved in these rituals all day, every day with people and kind of what you see out in the, in the marketplace, in the world around people utilizing or not utilizing them and the potential for these rituals. What I really see is that people are not utilizing them. And we learn so little about grief. Mm -hmm. We, most of us only know what we learned in ninth grade psychology, which is, you know, there's the five stages. Everybody thinks it's very linear. And what we don't understand that is that grief is a highly personal experience and there's no correct way to do it. I run across so many people who just think they're doing it wrong because they're not experiencing it in the way that they expected. And they're really being told, you know, it's been a few weeks, you should be over it by now. And it isn't that. And so I'm, I'm really, um, thrilled that we can help people to normalize this experience and learn to sit in it. It's really going to be helpful to them. That's great. I, I love what you say about, you know, sit in it, be in your grief, be present in it. So um, I, I'm just going to share, I don't know if I'm jumping ahead or not, but I think it's important to say this, that um, my husband and I lost a child to suicide five years ago. And I've been working with um, at Feldman for two and a half years, almost three years. And I always say, and I feel a little kind of funny when I say it, that out of the past five years, um, the last two years have been kind of the best grieving that I've had. And this is coming, from, I'm a, a Lutheran, and so we kind of grieve maybe in a different way. And then by working not only with Jamie and my um, family, my coworkers at Feldman, but being in the Jewish community, I've learned a whole different way to grieve. And it can be so many different things. It can be um, the yard site candle, the, the striking of the match and lighting that candle. And then that candle burns for 24 hours, kind of giving me permission mm. every time I walk by that candle to, to be present in the moment, to be present in the loss of PJ or whoever it is that I'm lighting the candle for. So I, I think the, the th biggest thing with grief is we're so powerless over it. There's nothing we can do. But then when we're given some tools, some ways, whether it's, you know, through Reiki, yoga, breathing, striking a match, you know, whatever it is, sometimes it's song, prayer, whatever it is, is just being able to do something. And Thank I you. love that. Yeah, absolutely. So the grief experience is a one day um, holistic, we'll call it a retreat, a mini retreat and intensive of small cohort, a group of people coming together. We'd like it around 10, again, drawing on Jewish wisdom traditions, a minion, a kind of a critical mass, but not much more than that because it's an intimate experience. And what we have found running the grief experience is that by the end of that day, this isn't just a group, it's a community right, of fellow travelers. And, and mm -hmm. that's such an important component of it because grief uh, leaves us feeling alone. And in many ways we are alone, but we can create a conscious community by coming together with fellow travelers into this grief experience and then utilizing these rituals that we've touched on some of them. And some of them are ancient, like the Kriya, we do a tearing of the garment uh, ceremony. Some of them are more modern, like in the grief through yoga. And really it's a holistic approach, a holistic blend. And so that's what we're offering to the community in partnership with Feldman. And we're very excited to be launching this. Um, so stay tuned for more details. But we're always excited to hear from folks in the community about what you're looking for and what you're going through, particularly in regarding uh, grief. 
And so you can get a hold of us at mysoulcentered.org, and there'll be more information after this video of how to contact Ariella or myself, B, Rabbi B. A thank you to Jamie and Susan, and you can always reach them at Feldman Mortuary here in Denver, Colorado. That's right. All right. Take care.